As always guys, giveaways at the end of the video from BoostedShades.com. Make sure you stick around to see how to win. Oh, we look so white. Yeah, the exposure is a bit high. What's up guys, and welcome to another Dotson video. These are about to surpass the Porsche videos. This is Dotson episode 11. Yeah. So it's tied with the Porsche videos. Yeah, we're uh, starting to receive photos from Jay, so the uh, short block should be almost done. And we'll be able to pick up the short block and continue Porsche videos as soon as we get that back. But for today, we're gonna be building as much of the engine as possible and maybe even getting it inside the car. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's do it. When installing one of our pistons, the rod put a nick in our crank, so we had to sand it down. All we had to do was spray it with a little bit of WD-40, 600 grit metal sandpaper until it was smooth. We then used plastic gauge to check the tolerances on the rod and the main bearings. Once we made sure clearance was good, we installed all the caps. Up next, we installed the auxiliary shaft. You notice the camera's always slightly moving too. Yeah. So I make sure to not have the uh, thing on and just keep it steady with my hands. Give that real cinematic look to it. <laughs> Change the zoom sometimes too, to give it that uh, reality TV show kind of. All right, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> you just call me Steven Spielberg. I did call you Steven Spielberg. That's fucked up, dude. I'm way better than Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! It's totally not the nut for that, but it works. Sweet. Cool. Crankshaft front seal and timing dust cover go on as one piece, and their gasket is shared with the auxiliary cover. Before we can close up the bottom end, we had to install the oil pump. The crankshaft timing gear was a little slow to start, but with a few taps from a hammer, it slid right on. water pump was a little seized up, so a new one was necessary. With 
almost everything on the front of the engine, we were able to put on the oil pan. Having checked all the tolerances and knowing everything was good in the lower end, we were able to bolt on and torque down the head. Last thing to go on before we could do the timing was the timing belt tensioner. With the tensioner installed, engine at top dead center, and the auxiliary and cam pulleys lined up, we were able to install the belt. Last thing we needed to do before we can get it off the engine stand was install the engine mounts. I had it going backwards. <laughs> Look how much room we have. This is ridiculous. It looks like this now. <clears throat> but once all the junk that makes it runs in here, it's still gonna be pretty small. All right guys, there it is. Um, this really puts perspective on how small this motor really is. Let's look at all the room on either side, actually. Not a very big platform, and it's as far back as it can be, so. Power to weight ratio should be on point. <laughs> and. Hopefully we can steer it. Yeah, it's true. Hopefully we can steer it. Um, we just gotta hook up the fuel system and the uh, mega squirt. And we should be able to. Give it a first start soon. I don't know when. 
soon. Soon. And we still have this to sort out. I mean, we could just set up the motor and drive it without seats or a windshield or seat belts or door latches or gaskets or anything. Could do that. It's probably a bad idea. Probably. All right, guys, it's gonna wrap up this video. Um, we kind of wanted to do something like this in our last video, but unfortunately, we ran over the bearings as we were talking about. Uh, we got the motor fully assembled and timed. We just have to do the finer details like plumbing the fuel lines and all that. Um, so we should be able to move on and do that. We also got to relocate the battery to the trunk and move the wiring harness because the way the turbo is right now, it might actually like melt all of that stuff. Um, so we'll sort that out in the next video. As far as this one goes, we're going to wrap it up now and I'm going to pick a winner because Devin's driving. Yeah, I can't do that. Alright, the winner of this week's video is Nathan Cash. All right, Nathan Cash, just uh, contact us through any of our social medias, Facebook, Instagram, email, and uh, we'll send you your prize. If you're new to the channel, every week we give away products from BoostedChains.com. Uh, to win, all you have to do is answer a question we ask at the end of the video, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. To win this week's giveaway, as summer rolls around, we're becoming more invested in the filming. We're really gonna try to hit that two video week mark. I wanna know what else we can do better as YouTubers. Uh, I feel like a lot of channels don't ask that enough. We wanna add more variety. We're thinking about bringing back moto vlogs. We haven't done one in a while. Uh, just generally, what do you guys think? What could we do better? What would you like to see? What direction would you like to see our channel head in? Um, let us know, subscribe and like, and you're qualified to win next week's giveaway. As always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.